So a few years ago, I landed my first data analytics job at a tax software company. And when you hear taxes, you have a negative sentiment. I get it. But the tax software industry has a lot of jobs for data analysts. And this could be a great way to jumpstart your data career. Now, today's video, I kind of want to share my experience at my first job. And look, everyone's first job or job in general is going to be completely different. Depends on who your manager is, what company you're working for, or even like what geography you're currently at. This is just my experience. And I kind of want to just to share the story of my first job. And I'm going to be diving into some of the different tasks I did, as well as some salary and like why I ended up leaving this job for what I have as my current job. So let's start in the beginning, the kind of the interview process. I can't remember for sure if it was two or three interviews, but I do remember my first interview was just kind of like a general get to know you type of interview. But my second one was a technical interview. And this interview was based off of SQL questions. Here's the interesting part though. So I had to go into the office for this interview and essentially go into a conference room and then jump on a Microsoft Teams meeting because uh, the engineer that actually quizzed me on my SQL was out of California. So it was an interesting experience, especially kind of coding with a different computer in a completely different environment for me. Um, but I ended up doing pretty well on that interview. I was told that I aced every single question, although I was super nervous and who isn't for an interview, right? But regardless, kind of how this interview went is we had a few different tables uh, listed on the screen and we'll just go through like, okay, if you want to pull this data, what type of query would you write? And essentially pretty easy figuring out your different joins, whether it's a left join or an inner join, building out some where statements on there, and then also doing some aggregates, whether it's like a sum or an average. Uh, but it went well and I ended up landing the job. Now, salary right out of the gate. I can't remember the exact number, so I do apologize, but it was either like 55,000 or 65,000. Uh, we'll go over some of the different salary increases here a little bit in the future, but let's talk about kind of the expectations, like what I did at this job. All right. So I'm going to break the job down into three different buckets. There's a lot of other tasks that I did, but these were the three main ones. Uh, the first one being reporting, the second one being working on new programs with our COO, and the third one is going to be lawsuits. Yes, lawsuits, we'll cover that in a bit. Well, the first bucket over here, which is reporting, I had to work on reports for our internal teams as well as our customers. Now, remember, I worked probably closest with accounting because they had 40 plus reports in. A lot of their reports had pretty complicated tax logic. And I'm not going to describe all the different tax logic because I don't even remember all those. But sometimes our logic would change season after season. So I had to constantly update reports. And also if there was any differences in numbers between what was showing on like customer reports and what accounting had, I had to make changes there. So a lot of work involved with that. Other things I had to work on were fixing broken reports. Before I joined on, there was a lot of reports that didn't even work. So I had to figure out why they specifically didn't work, whether a table or a, a field was deprecated and no one ended up updating that report over time, kind of things like that and optimizing reports for speed. Some of these reports would take three, four minutes to load, which is horrible. And it's essentially based off of the joins or the tables that were used. Uh, they weren't the best to use in those specific cases and I would be able to make them faster. All right. So that's the first bucket. The second bucket was working essentially with our COO. There would be a lot of different programs that we would try to build out through the year. My first one that I did specifically like presentation, running the numbers was changing the software pricing. So we didn't really have any standardized software pricing or even discounts. Our sales team were all over the place uh, and it was a complete mess. So I had to first see if there was any patterns with the sales team. Then I had to come up with new software pricing numbers kind of make an estimate of what the difference in numbers would be season over season based off the new software pricing, even if we did lose specific merchants or we gained merchants and also kind of figure out what the best approach would be to giving out discounts. So I spent a few months on that type of project. And honestly, I had a lot of fun doing that, uh, especially compared to the reports, which I find kind of tedious over time. Um, but I really enjoyed that. Speaking of reports, one thing I forgot to mention is these reports weren't really visual. 
they were all tabular reports. So when you think of like dashboard reporting, I did none of that at this first job. I started doing that at my current job, but that was not an expectation here as a data analyst at this company. All right, the third bucket was lawsuits. So being a tax company, you do have a contact with the IRS and IRS would send us subpoenas. So I had to grab the data for those specific subpoenas. Also, at times I had to analyze why the IRS was asking questions about a specific merchant. And you would be surprised like how dumb people are with fraud. And that's all I'm gonna say on that side of things. All right, so kind of how my salary progressed. Again, I either started at 55 or 65K. I do apologize. Can't remember the specific number. Uh, my first raise, as funny as it is, was a solid $100 a month, which is essentially nothing, but are you gonna pass up free money? No, and I took that raise. And then my next raise bumped me up to 75,000. Now, I was gonna get another raise uh, with our reviews coming up soon, but I ended up leaving the job for another job. And here's the reason why I ended up leaving that job. Personally, I really didn't find much room to grow here. See, I was the only data analyst at the company and I wanted to increase my skill set. Now, there were other data engineers at the company, but there was no open roles on that side of things. And one of the things I wanted to try to get into at the time was data science. And I asked my boss, hey, is there any way that I could start learning data science, probably learning a little bit about Python and kind of applying models at the job? And I was told it would take five years. So I didn't want to wait five years. I wanted to start taking action now. I started applying to other jobs and I ended up getting into the job where I'm at right now, working at a FinTech, specifically within the risk and underwriting departments. And I'm gonna be covering that in another video. But what I want you to do for you guys, if you're new to the channel and you aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading multiple videos every week, especially as I grow my skill set. I try to share what I learn every week here on the channel. And also, I kind of share your experience at your first data analytics job down below in the comments. That way other people can know. Anyways, I will catch you in another video.